Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today Google released Android 16 Beta 1 and I have it on my Pixel 9 Pro XL to show you everything new. So without further ado, let's jump in. Before starting, let me remind you that if you like any of the wallpapers I use, they are part of the wallpapers by in-depth tech reviews app that you will find its Google Play Store download link in the description below. Plus, I added these 12 new wallpapers to the collection. And now let's get back to Android 16. Let's start with the build number as usual. It's PP22250103.008. And now let's take a look at the new features. The first change, once you unlock the phone after a restart, you will get this brand new animation before showing the home screen icons. And it looks pretty nice. Now let's talk about the lock screen and I noticed two new changes. The first one is the smoother reveal animation for the notifications when you use the face unlock. It's a little bit more refined than before. The second change is the haptic feedback you get when you tap on the lock screen shortcuts is slightly weaker. Android Authority also talked about a new live update feature for the lock screen which I didn't get and I don't think it's part of this beta. Maybe they are talking about some features coming in the future, but I'm going to show you what I have right now. Now let me show you a couple of new features related to the predictive back gesture. The first one, if you are using the three button navigation like this, when you tap on the back button, you will get the same predictive back gesture animation when you use the back button. The second one is the wallpapers and the style app now supports the predictive back gesture and here's how it looks when you go in and out of pages. With this build you will also get the Android 15 QPR2 beta 3 features. The first one is the removal of the globe button if you don't have multiple languages set in your keyboard and it only appears when you add an extra language like this which wasn't the case before. So you have to add a couple of languages or use multiple keyboards to be able to see this globe icon. The rest of the changes in Android 16 beta 1 are under settings and I will start with the apps menu. When you scroll down a bit, you will see a brand new menu item called contacts storage, which will allow you to choose the default Google account to use in your contacts app or you can use the device only option. The second change is under notifications. When you go to the flash notifications option and turn on any of the toggles, you will see a redesigned preview button. And for reference, here is how it used to look in Android 15. We also got a couple of new changes under the display and touch menu from QPR2 beta 3. The first one is the under the screen saver. When you turn on the screen saver toggle and then go to colors, you will see this new show additional information toggle that only appears when you choose the colors option. The second change is related to the screen resolution. Now the full resolution option is called max resolution. And the last change in this area is under about phone. I got this brand new menu item called battery information. When I go inside, it shows the cycle count of the battery, which is something I don't have in QPR2 beta 3. Google also removed the audio sharing feature from the connected devices menu and then connection preferences. As you see here, it doesn't exist anymore. So these are the new features in Android 16 beta 1. Unfortunately, it's a minor update and it doesn't include a lot of new features. Plus, it has some bugs that are worth noting in case you are planning to install this build on your daily driver. The first problem you will notice here is the clock and date information are not visible. I still can see them, but they are in a very light gray color, which is very hard to see. And the same applies to the build number and also the task manager. The second bug is also related to the quick settings. When you tap on the edit button and scroll all the way down, you will see this contrasty look with a white background and the black tiles, which doesn't look great either. And when you try to customize your home screen widgets, you will see here that the header at the top is overlapping with the status bar. But it's not all bad though, we still have some bug fixes with beta 1 of Android 16 that you can find in the release notes. So let me show you the top resolved issues. We have a fix for an issue that caused NFC payments to fail in some cases due to a null pointer exception, fixed an issue that caused excessive battery drain when some apps were running in the background, fixed an issue where tapping on, on, on an ongoing media notification sometimes failed to launch the corresponding app, 
fixed an issue where on some devices the camera screen sometimes flashed if the zoom level was adjusted while recording a video and finally fixed various other issues that were impacting system stability now let's talk about the performance stability and battery while filming this video i'm not very confident about this build because the performance is not as smooth as the qpr2 beta 3 and sometimes it does some weird things while uh, using the phone plus the bugs i mentioned already in various areas so be very careful if you want to install this build on your daily driver the second issue i noticed is the battery drain this build drains my battery a lot faster than expected and i did top up the phone a couple of times while filming this video which is not common and when it comes to the geekbench score i'm not getting any performance gains with this build it's about the same as the previous tests i did so you will see here it's around the same average plus you are getting some bugs and not too many features so this build is not recommended to install on your daily driver so that's pretty much it for today these are all the new features i wanted to show you in android 16 beta 1 please let me know in the comments if i missed anything but for now thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video